Hey, it's Harker from Play. Today we're talking about Play AI. Play AI lets you leverage AI when you design and prototype in Play. And there's so many different things you can do with it. Whether you want to design a layout or add an interaction or a prefab, or just select all of the text on the page, which we'll do in just a second, you can do all of that using Play AI to speed up your workflow. You can also use our generate feature, which creates an AI view using an external GPT. And you can create a module, a page, or even a whole flow using an AI view, and you connect it in your play prototype. We're going to talk about all of that stuff in other videos, but in this video, we're just going to do an introduction for how you use play AI. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll use play AI from this play AI panel in the bottom left corner. You can toggle this panel out of view and back into view just by clicking on the sparkle or play AI icon. You can also use a keyboard shortcut option six. Now this looks probably pretty familiar to a lot of people because it functions very similarly to other AI. You're just going to prompt it in this panel using this text field. Now in play, you want to give it an intent. So the play AI knows what you're looking for. And you do this in play using a command. So I'm going to hit slash, and now you can see a list of all of the commands, things like generate or design or select. In this case, we're going to use select. So I can either click on it or I can just go all the way down and hit select. Now I can type anything in I want. So I could say select the full page, or I can use one of these pre-written commands here. So let's say select all text. And I'm just going to go ahead and select my page so it knows where I want to select the text from. Now you can press return and now it's going to select all of the text in my selection, which is again, the page. Now that I have all of this text selected, I can actually make edits to it all. And you can see again, rather than having to go through and individually select every single layer, I can just use the play AI and go in and I can just change it from here. Now you can see it's updated both on my editor and on my iOS device. Let's go ahead and put it back to white now. Now, like most AIs, Play AI works best the more specific you are. So let's say I only wanted to select the text in this stack. I can do that by mentioning this layer. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to do select again, all text in. Now to mention this layer, I can either click on add down here, click mention, and now I can go through any of my layers, also my styles, variables, or my interaction nodes and select them to mention them in this prompt. I can also just use the at sign here to get that exact same UI. So in this case, I want to target this list layer. So we're selecting all text and list, and now it's only going to select the text that's in that layer that we specified. Now I'm just showing you select for now, but let's do something a little bit more different. I have this component here and I want to change its state from default to collapsed. So I'm going to go over and this time I'm going to use the command design because this is a design related change. And let's say change. And again, we're going to mention this summary component here, state to collapsed. Again, the more specific you can be, the better results you're going to get from play AI. There we go. Now we have the state changed to collapse. Now I'm also going to show you how to do this using interactions. So let's go ahead and just switch that state back. This time we're going to use a different command. This one is interaction. So the interaction we want to hear is when we tap on this component over here on my phone, I wanted to change its state from that default state to the selected state. So let's just tell play AI. So on tap change at component summary to collapsed state. So you can see it's already switched into interaction mode. And now it's added a tap trigger and a set state action where we are setting the state to collapsed. So now we can go ahead and try this on our iOS device. Again, I always like to just double tap with two fingers to reset it. And then I tap, it's now switching it to that collapse state. And then if you wanted to, you can go ahead and edit from here, either using play AI or just editing the nodes themselves. Now, the last thing I want to show is just how you can learn more about play using play AI. And this is using the learn command. So I'm going to do slash and we're going to do learn now. And now for this one, it's a little bit different. Instead of being more specific, you actually want to talk about general topics. So in this case, let's say we want to learn about scrolling. So I'm going to do scroll trigger. And now 
play is going to return some resources that we have about scroll triggers. Now you can see we have these three videos on scrolling that I can go ahead and play. It's going to open in YouTube and you can watch that tutorial, but you're getting the resources directly from play thanks to play AI. And that's an overview of play AI. Again, we're going to put out some other videos specifically talking about how you can design, add interactions, and also generate an AI view using play AI. So check out those videos, which I've linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching this one.